what's going on YouTube I'm about to tear this apart I'm gonna modify it I'm gonna put in uh, new Simitsu buttons uh, basically replace these two um, wannabe Sanwa buttons with really really nice uh, Simitsu ones I'm also gonna reroute this A and B button to this one over here and I'm going to install it right here, right down there. Look really nice. I'm also going to reroute the start button up there with this one right here, right on top. It'll be a little bit easier to, to get, get to and use. Um, I do have a new ball and dust cover coming in. That's going to be a while. I did order that from China, but they look really, really nice. It's kind of to fit that clear look, basically. Um, also, I'm going to modify the joystick as well. It is a Sanwa joystick, so I do have a Sanwa octagonal gate for it. And I do have uh, this little piece. This little piece goes inside, basically, to uh, lower the dead zone, so the buttons are a little bit easier to, to activate on moving the stick. So instead of it activating right there it's gonna probably gonna activate like right there like this is activate a little bit easier with this gate um if i don't like it i might switch it back depending on how sensitive it is so i don't know how sensitive this gate will make it um i do have it hooked up to the nes uh classic right now which ooh, probably gonna reset that make sure to get to the main menu which is off to the side over here uh, I'm doing that basically so I can test out the buttons. Um, whenever I crack this thing open, um, I'm going to cut little pieces of wire, test the leads, uh, see exactly where they go so I can install uh, these buttons correctly. Oh, and then uh, the last thing is a little switch. I'm going to jump cut to that. Alright, I'm back. I'm also going to solder in this little switch right here to toggle on and off the slow button. I hate that thing. So I wanted to turn it off, but if I ever want to use it, just uh, flick the switch, turn it on. If I don't want to use it, I don't want to accidentally touch it, turn it off. It'd be simple as that. Um, I've thought of a couple ways on how to wire this in, but uh, I don't know. I'll figure out something. Anyways, let's get started. So, first thing is first, I'm going to unplug it so I don't shock myself or probably won't shock myself but probably not to damage any of the components inside um, whenever you're taking these things apart make sure you take these little gray button uh, gray knobs out um, they're a little hard I pre loosened them already but if they become a pain on getting out you can get anything with teeth kind of like this one and and Gently, very, very gently line up the teeth with that with the knob and very gently wiggle them out. Don't apply too much pressure. If not, you will scratch these. I mean, it's soft plastic, metal. That would suck. I don't like scratching my crap, so yeah, just be very careful. If not, maybe put a piece of cloth around it and slowly pull it out. But, or if you don't give a shit, just rip it up. Um, second thing is right in there. There's two bolts, or nuts, not bolts, uh, two nuts. Um, they are a 10 millimeter. So they're not on tight or anything like that. They're like on hand tight, basically. So, I mean, you just pl pl place it in there. And you don't even need a, a deep, deep socket. Get in there and unscrew it. Uh, the reason why you need to take those out is because those knobs are soldered to the board. So just another place to take apart the board inside. Uh, once you get the bolts out, just flip her over. And the nuts of the bolts should pop out. Might need to give it a little jiggle. Try not to lose anything. I hate losing crap. Alright, I'm going to push those off to the side. After that, uh, you're good in the front. I'm going to flip her over to the back. In the back you've got six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm using a flathead, but it's big enough. These ones aren't on tight either, they're about hand tight. 
Uh, when you do screw this on, you do not want to over tighten them. It is plastic, you'll round them out pretty easily. And then there goes one. Oh, I'm pretty sure that fell under. Uh, another jump cut. Well, that's a little screw that got away. Because I'm just going to have to uh, magnetize my screwdriver. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think it's 21. That was good enough. Okay. Now, hopefully, I don't lose another one of these. Alrighty. Well, got all the screws out. Now, we can peel her apart. Alrighty. Oh, also... Um, I am going to replace these little feet. They're a little tall. Um, I have the other replacement feet somewhere around here. Ah, oh, here they are. Uh, these little bit wider ones, I may have to cut them in order to, to fit, but I like these ones a little bit more flat, a little bit more uh, space to basically uh, for them to grip on. These ones aren't bad, but they're a little tall. I don't like that. Anyways, set this off to the side. Oh, there. Alrighty, so we're in the inside. So, next thing is next. There is four screws that's holding the board. I've already taken this little uh, screw out, but you got one huh and huh and huh. So basically, you just of course unscrew those. Uh, before you do that, though, I would recommend taking out these little clips right here. They're not on super super tight, and that's okay. I might have loosened them out because I have taken these buttons out before. Um, but yeah, you want to take those off first, then the screws. And then you want to be careful with this ribbon cable. It's bunched up pretty well. You wouldn't want to strip those wires or uh, bend them any more than they're already bent. Um, at least I wouldn't. Uh, it would suck if you um, bent them out of shape and they never go back. And then you got to cut wires. and ugh, It's a mess. I ain't doing that. Um, but, yeah. Once I get this uh, board out, I'm going to start... Uh, no, I'm going to take out the, the joystick first, modify that, and then I'll get to the board and get to the leads. Um, no, I'm going to do the joystick, swap out the buttons, make sure those work, see how they feel with the joystick, and then I'll modify. Uh, soldering, testing points, things like that. Because uh, that's going to be uh, the most tedious part, I guess you'd say. Um, mainly what I want to do is these parts right here uh, that's where the buttons are for the start select a plus B and that treble button so I gotta really figure out where those leads are um, there's six contacts right here for a single switch so two of those have to meet up so in order to make that switch I gotta figure out what's what and things like that uh, what I was thinking about doing is desoldering these soldering on pieces of wire and just touching them and see which leads are and then writing them down um, see what they are and then go from there anyways once you got those screws out um, the way I recommend taking it out is first take out the wire right here just simply pull it off uh, after that slowly pry this and you want to pry this part first and kinda scooch it out just like that so you're not putting too much pressure on that and then pull kind of straight and this right here that's just on by little pins basically and just pull straight like that and I'll wiggle it out not to put too much pressure a little delicate in my opinion but again you wouldn't want to ruin anything from there boards out I'm gonna set that off over here alrighty so as far as that goes let's swap out the buttons first those are the easiest uh, on these ones, they have two little tabs that basically squeeze right here, and the button just pops out, just like that, super easy. And two. Alrighty. So, out with the old. Got that one. I'm not too sure that one went. Okay. Let's see. Well, I'm pretty sure that one rolled under, but that's the old one. I don't really give a shit. I'll get to it later when I find that screw. Um, alright, so these are the new Saimitsu ones. Really, really nice part. But, uh, anyways, on this one, 
and the old ones, there's little notches uh, right here on the side. I'm going to be able to see that as easy, but there's little tiny notches right here. And they line up with the little notches right here. Now some big ones right here and little ones right here. Uh, big ones are where the tab's at. Basically just line them up like this. Same thing, same exact fit. Line them up and set them in. Um, let's see, yeah, pretty much. Just like that. These ones are a little bit bigger, but it's a little bit of force. I'll do you. They go in, they click in. There you go. New buttons. Uh, same thing with the second one. Over here, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just a switch. Just connects those two points together. So, doesn't really matter. And same thing here. I don't want these. I want the side mitts pointing that way. I want the logo to be the same between the two. Looks really, really nice. Just like that. And just whoop, pop them in. One's a little tougher, but hey. It is what it is. Oh, yeah. Buttons feel so much nicer versus this. Oh, so tough, too. And this one's so nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, so. All right, so I got those in. And, of course, those tabs are the same exact tabs that are on the uh, board over here. So next, we're going to swap out all the pieces and the joystick so in order to get the joystick off you gotta take the ball off first and I would recommend doing that first uh, standard flathead right here ball hold it in the back like this and just turn till you feel it come loose just like that and then from there you can just hold it and the ball just rounds off just like that and it is round so I'm gonna let that roll away put that over there uh, then you want to take out the of course the dust cap and then, oh, you let go of that. You got four screws here and two screws right there. Um, it doesn't matter which which way you get off first. I mean, it just kind of sticks in there. I'm gonna go with these ones. So, one, two. That's it on that side, and then flip her over once more, and get to these two that are in the back. That's a little bit smaller screwdriver. Let me get a, a smaller Phillips. All right, this one should work. Yeah. All righty, one. And this is when things get a little loose. So I'm holding it on the other side with my two fingers. Alright, let's put that over there. Alright, now the joystick comes out. Place it right there. I'm gonna place this guy onto the side. I don't really need it right now. And let's see. Alright, so this is the Sanwa joystick. Uh, I'm gonna replace uh, this plastic piece first. Let's see if I can get that off. You just push these tabs right there and that kind of lifts off. Uh, you want to use a spudger or a guitar pick. This right here is a get spudger that's in the shape of a guitar pick. Same difference, just anything with like that rounded tip right there. Kind of pry. Push that. It's going to push up a bit and then pry it up and kind of hold it and then get to the other tabs basically. Um, the first time I took this off it was a bit stiff. This time it should be a little bit easier. Um, you want to be careful with this PCB. It is kind of brittle, so you don't want to apply too much pressure right there or anything like that because you can break it and then you got to basically buy a new part, which I mean, it's expensive and it takes forever for it to come in. Um, but yeah, I mean, just kind of kind of take your time, kind of pry at it. Um, don't be too rough with it. And then it'll slowly but surely start slipping off just like that. And you get to the last piece and it'll pop out. Like right here. Take this little spudger and get it right in there. Get a little bit of pressure. And it should slowly but surely come off. And you get to one point like this and you just kind of have to play with it a bit. Kind of bend it towards and back and towards and back. Until finally it'll come off. Also, I mean, this this whole PCB will come off too. But 
you gotta be careful. And oh man, it's being a little tough today. Let me see. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna jump cut, up, jump cut on this. There it goes. All right, cool. Got it off. And now you got this part. So uh, you can take this part. Once you get this part off, take this off just like that. Be very, again, be careful with that. I mean, that piece of bead is kind of thin in some parts. I don't want to bend it. Uh, don't worry about the orientation. I mean, I'll show you exactly how it goes back. But remember, these two are up and down, and that always goes to the left when you put it back in. All right, so the next thing is, is to replace this plastic cap thing right here with the new one, which is a little bit thicker. Um, right here, it's got this uh, metal clip right here. Uh, you want to be careful. I use a flathead screwdriver to kind of uh, pry it apart. I bend it really just very, very nice and lightly uh, to get it kind of wedging out, basically. It might shoot out, um, but once you get it out, it should be good. Let me see. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. So, yeah. Take that clip out. Also, you want to hold this, too, because it is spring-loaded. See that spring right there? Um, once you get that out, set it out to the side. And there you go. You got the cap. Place the old cap over there. Place the new cap over here. Should go right over that spring and basically just um, hold it in place, kind of like that, and just put it back exactly. And then get the uh, little clip and place it back on, just like that. Sometimes it's a little tough to get back on. Um, if it's a little tough like that, you can use the little pliers that I have right here. Let's get this and. A little bit gently, put it back in, just like that. Hey, good new, huh? Alrighty, so we got that new piece in, and that's uh should close that. So let's put it back together again, cross up and down, and then this way. So now they click a little bit easier. Close that dead zone. Next would be. Uh, new restrictor gate, octagonal, and basically that goes on all, all fours like that, and it clips in perfectly just like that. So now, ah yes, a little bit easier, a little bit easier. Okay, and that is your joystick, easy and simple. Make sure, yeah, make sure that's all the way down, of course. Uh, that's the simple joystick mods. Not too bad. I mean, if I could do it, anybody can do it. Now, let's uh, put it back. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut and see exactly how it feels. Alrighty, so got the button swapped out. Got the joystick swapped out. Um, but it's a little high. I did bend these down a little bit, but I don't want to bend them too much. Also, on these wires, I will have to make them a little bit longer. Of course, I got extra stuff over here but clip these nip, clip these ends off bend them out a little bit more so I can lay a little bit more flush um, I'm probably gonna see the same thing happen with this guy over here um, I think it's a little, maybe a little bit taller but if I bend them down a little bit more basically flat over it should be fine um, I don't want to bend them too much so I don't know I don't know I don't, I don't know if it'll mess with the buttons at all I don't think it does. The performance they don't click or anything like that. So I think I think they'll be okay. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get them out a bit more without compromising the buttons. Basically bending them a little bit a little bit more flat so I can uh, lay it flush on the uh, on the table. So I can yeah, okay, cool. That, that's good enough. Alright, so I can get a, a feel of the joy. I got Gallica right here, so yeah, I mean, barely just whoop, whoop, left and right. Ooh, that feels a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. And the buttons feel just amazing. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, let's try some Super C. Super C, I was having troubles um, getting basically um, basically my diagonal as far as like shooting goes. So if I aim, I mean, it, it never really hit those buttons as, as, as easy or as easy as, as I would like it. Oh, shit. That sucks. Um, but yeah, let's try that. Hit start. And then reset over here. Let's try that out. Let me see. Oh, yes. So much more responsive. Oh, here's Super C. So this goes. It's not too bad. Yeah. Alrighty. One player. Oh yeah, can easily. Oh well, yeah, can easily get to uh to the corner now. So much easier. I mean, which precision? I mean, that's that's all this game is about is precision. So oh yeah, so I mean, so much easier to hit those. Really, and. and and a quick flitch too, because I was having trouble just shoot down over there, and oh man, that feels so much nicer. Yeah, this guy right here, yeah. So I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, it feels so much better. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do another uh, jump cut, basically, uh, flip her out, take out the buttons, take out the joystick, and then uh, from there, I'm gonna basically start tracing out on the PCB. Start, aim, being slow, so I can get all the other things wired. But yeah, this feels really, really amazing. I really like where it's coming out. Sorry about all the uh, jump cuts, but it took me a while, basically, to drill the holes for those two buttons and um, to figure out where all the leads went with those buttons on the back of that PCB. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the B plus A button right to that one. Um, the way the switch is set up, basically it, it's three terminals like this, and if you touch any uh, cross two like that, it'll um, basically make contact for B and A. But if you have it wired any way together, it messes with the uh, these buttons right here. It'll either not work. Or hit both B and A at the same time on those ones. So I couldn't figure out a way how to wire it correctly. Uh, without messing up those buttons. So I ended up saying screw it. And I ended up wiring uh, start to this one right here. And select to that one up there. Um, the way the buttons work anyways. I mean hitting B plus A at the same time. It's not a hard task at all. Uh, these buttons fire a whole lot better than the knockoff uh, San, Juan, San Juan ones that were there so super super easy now especially on a double dragon but other than that yeah so this one's start that one's select the way the buttons feel is so much better from from the uh, knockoff ones um, but other than that yeah sorry about all the jump cuts uh, just took so much time and getting those holes drilled through Figure out how those were all wired up. Um, it took me probably about three hours or so to get everything all done. Um, and that that's what that point, I don't think I have that much memory left in order to film all that. But it was pretty quick and painless. It wasn't too bad. I'm still waiting in the mail for uh, the clear ball top and the clear dust dust cap. It's been maybe like four or five days since I actually got it all put back together. Um, yeah, sorry about that. It just took me a while. But other than that, I mean, the buttons and the joystick feel so much better. I would actually recommend modding at least the, the joystick and the two A and B buttons. Uh, make them feel a whole lot better. And the extra buttons, it's all optional on how you want to do that. For me, I put start down here mainly uh, for punch out. Because that's your, your haymaker or your special punch or whatever. Um... So basically other than that, I don't use any of those buttons at all. 
I just used basically the four that I, I replaced. But than that wasn't too bad. Uh, like I said, it, it feels amazing now. It definitely does. Well worth the mod. But that concludes this video. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm not too sure what I want to do on the next one though. But make sure you to subscribe if you want to see more of my crap. Um, if not, we'll catch you on the next one.